Hi everybody, thanks for coming back to the channel again. I recently purchased a 3DR uh, solo uh, smart code copter that I'm going to be using for doing some aerial video work. This thing came supplied with an M7 N GPS receiver and I wanted to upgrade it to a, an M8 N so I shot off to Banggood and bought one of these, a BN800 um, which is an M8 N GPS receiver and set about installing it in the original position in the uh, solar battery tray. First of all I took the receiver so I could pick up the holes, I cut off the corners and the PCB then I took a couple of pieces of sticky pad double doors up so that would uh, seat that nicely in the bottom of the existing battery tray and um, that was just so I could fixate the thing then as I was going to use double shielding <coughs> underneath the uh, GPS to see how I took some tape and covered up all the connections so nothing could show it out in there. So there's a picture of the um, a mock up fit of the GPS receiver into the original position and it looks as though it's uh, sitting in there quite nicely. So then I took a, um, a 3D printed um, uh, modification uh, for the original GPS receiver that I'd already 3D printed, thought I would use it. So I modified that slightly and um, I attached that at, to some uh, copper foil sheet that I had lying about. There's a picture of that now, it was just uh, glued onto the back of there. Uh, once it was set I just trimmed that around and uh, there you can see the finished article. In the next photograph you'll see that, uh, that the, the first um, shield fitted in and there it is, that, that's it right now. Fits in there really very nice and that's the first of two RF shields. I then took the original RF shield that 3DR had supplied with the copter and I fitted that over the top of it. So double RF shielding and you can see uh, a shot of the modified GPS cable coming out the uh, top left hand side. So it fitted in very nice. Um, here's a couple of shots of it in place. Um, that's as it is uh, installed in there and the battery tray put back. So then the next thing to do was to test it and uh, it wasn't an ideal day for testing to be honest. It was very very cloudy and overcast but I decided to do it anyway. And you can see the result in the picture. Uh, 18 GPS sats locked with an edge stop of 0 0.6 very very pleasing and uh, double the number of satellites I was seeing with the M7N receiver with a considerably higher uh, HDOP figure so for the price of £14 the modification was well worth doing thanks for dropping by and uh, we'll catch up with you again sometime in the next video bye bye now